So good morning or good afternoon, depending on where you are located. So welcome to this uh, uh, few minutes of uh, interactive session. So you are free to to raise your question, and I will be glad to answer to that. Uh, we are here to speak about the this uh, surgical event uh, meeting that will be held in Dubai. Uh, uh, beginning of February, just after Dubai Health, uh, Arab Health, and uh, I just wanted to uh, outline the main point of this Congress to, to encourage you to come and visit us, not only for the beautiful season, the beaches and all the shopping area in Dubai, but also for this uh, uh, scientific event. So. This Congress will be uh, done uh, for three days and uh, let's say uh, relatively conventionally we, we have the first day which would be uh, the place for events which are in my opinion important. So we will get uh, obviously the, the hot uh, uh, session which is the hands-on, so workshops and mainly we will get uh, suturing workshops based on one hour and a half session lot of uh, training with your practicing with your hand on models but some explanation surrounding that by very uh, extremely good experts from all over the world and so those sessions are limited for 20 people by session of one hour and a half and we can repeat the session to uh, uh, four times so you can get uh, 80 people uh, to do this session. Uh, parallelly we will get a session on hysteroscopy which is uh, be done with the help of uh, Medtronic and we are going specifically look at the uh, hysteroscopic morselation tools that uh, are available and you will also and people will also get the chance to practice to have hands on and uh, I think this is important to understand how this uh, new type of uh, morselation could make very precise uh, resection uh, without any tissue damage uh, in the surrounding area. Uh, parallelly, we will get also uh, uh, innovative solution access to closure. This session will be helped also by, by an educational grant of uh, uh, Johnson & Johnson, Ethicon and uh, we will cover all the aspects of, uh, of laparoscopic surgery with uh, uh, demonstration and uh, lecture, etc. Uh, we will also get the first day uh, uh, a say practical session on hysterectomy, and so we will cover both uh, all aspects of minimal access uh, hysterectomy from laparoscopy, but also we will talk about vaginal, we will talk of a different technique, different uh, way of uh, controlling the vessel, different aspect of energy is to be used uh, from uh, the classical bipolar to the more modern uh, vessel sealing devices. Uh, I think that this session is very complete. It will be a three hours session and you will get access by lecture uh, to, to questions. Parallelly, and I think this is probably the most interesting part of this Congress, you will have what we call a marathon. This surgical marathon will last for 10 hours on the row without any stop. You, you could go out of the, of the room to have coffee or lunch, but the session will continue and we will get 10 of the best surgeons in the world that will be with us. It's not going to be live surgery, but it will be unedited surgery. So I asked 10 of the best surgeons and I can I can mention uh, Dr. Putan Baka from India, uh, Dr. Paolo Rosa from uh, Brazil, Dr. Mazzoni from Italy, etc. And they are going to come with unedited video and will talk to you about the subject that we have defined and for one hour. So Dr. Putan Baka, for example, will do uh, the nav navigating the pelvic anatomy and you will see the way to look at the anatomy, to dissect the anatomy and to to look at the safe landmarks around you to, to, to say if we are going to see the root of dissection of the ureter, we are going to see uh, the different energy you can use to do your surgery. So many sessions with uh, unedited video demonstration and the surgeon will be here that able to answer to your question. So I think that this is a unique opportunity for people to, 
to interact with experts and to get really uh, the, the, the essential of, uh, of what the surgeon believe or practice every day. And this is, uh, uh, this is probably why this, uh, this main congress, the World Congress, is placed under the brand, so shift your surgical ambition to surgical action. So what we want, we want that participants come and get messages that they can really apply coming back home. So after this first day that is quite busy, we will get the opening ceremony with a keynote lecture and we will get uh, obviously a cocktail reception because this is also the place to network, to get a good social networking and I think it's also important because it's only when you interact with people that you can get from them what they have to, to bring to you. Uh, the second day and the third day are the real day of, of, the, of the Congress and they are divided uh, in three, so we have three parallel rooms. One is the plenary session room, so I mean that we are going to cover one by one the different aspects of what we do, so hysteroscopy session, hysterectomy session, adenomyosis session, uh, uh, but also uh, laparoscopic, sacrocolpopexy, complication, etc. And uh, on the parallel room, we will got other session, but one one of the session of uh, most one of the room will be very interesting because this is made by what we call tutorials, and those tutorials are very important because again, this is a small group of uh, of surgeons that will discuss with one or two surgeons on a single uh, subject, and we will go we will go deep in details, technical details. So I think that again you will understand what is the rationale of, uh, of the way that doctors or, or experts do what they do, and I think that this is important to, to do. Uh, Friday, uh, Friday uh, we will have the same division, three, three rooms, and we will get uh, one, the main room will be dedicated for endometriosis all day on different aspects, and I think that this is very important because uh, we, this disease is growing in terms of interest, but also in terms of epidemiology. We see, more, we see more and more cases and more and more severe in younger and younger patients. So this is a, this is a, real, uh, a real health care problem that should be addressed correctly. And uh, I think that whatever we think, uh, surgeons are not really prepared to face uh, this challenging uh, surgery and it's very important to talk about techniques but also to talk about epidemiology but also about alternative treatment that can be offered to this patient. And so probably we will also get the, the, the tutorial and we will speak about lymphadenectomy, we will speak about the ureter, we will speak about fibroids. So, I mean, we are going to cover mainly almost all the spectrum of uh, what we do every day. And again, with the main goal that uh, uh, we want you to come to go back home with uh, interesting messages and uh, practical messages. So, you have to be able to reproduce what you have seen. Alors, we also will get interesting sessions like video communication. We, are, we have place for free communication. And I think that we are trying to select the best video. And five of these best video will be uh, display uh, the, the evening of the second day at the video corner, which is a corner where uh, it will be in a more relaxed atmosphere. We are going to discuss this, uh, this video with a criti critical analysis of experts that are going to be there. And so we are going to vote for the best video that is going to be awarded. So you see that this is a very, very complete uh, you know, journey among the, what we do actually in uh, in gynecology with uh, minimal access surgery and uh, as you will see that mainly we have uh, 50 faculty coming from over all over the world and if I mention for hysteroscopy Dr. Campo, uh, Dr. Amu, uh, Dr. Betoki, they all are coming and uh, sharing with us their experience. We have also for oncology we have Dr. Leblanc coming from France and we have a lot of experts and also we have very interesting talk where we have uh, Dr. Uh, Azani from uh, uh, United States, 
that will come and will make a, a keynote lecture on the management of chronic pain patients, which is, we know all, uh, a difficult task in, in, our, in our job, and that uh, she will also do a tutorial around this subject. Uh, we will get uh, uh, two main keynotes, or three main keynotes, the one of uh, Dr. Hassani, as I told. We are going to get a keynote lecture for by uh, Professor Jacques Donnet, and you know that Professor Jacques Donnet is not only the, the father of, uh, of the new approach of the medical treatment of the myoma, but also is a very, uh, very pioneer in the fertility preservation in young patients that has a problem endometriosis, but also on cancer. And in addition, we will we listen also uh, a talk, uh, uh, keynote lecture from uh, Dr. Shalesh Putembakar about broken the limits of your practice, and uh, he will talk about the story of the first uh, Indian uh, uterine transplantation and the first uh, laparoscopic uterine transplantation, and I think this is uh, this is very, very, very interesting. So again, you see that we are going to get a very rich uh, scientific program, a lot of interaction, uh, and, and trust me, you are not going to be the same doctor after this Congress, I promise you. Now obviously, this is also a place, as I told, that to, for networking, so for meeting your old friends or to make new friends, and so that's why we have uh, some events like the, the opening ceremony and the cocktail reception the first day where we get the gala dinner the second day. And so we will do as much as we can this place as a place where you can stop, sit and relax and discuss about uh, uh, everything. Uh, what is important is this event is uh, also uh, helped by a lot of uh, industry. And I think this is very important to mention it because, uh, as you know, it's not that easy today either for the organizer to get sponsor, but also for the sponsor to sponsor. Because we, we have, as you know, a lot of, uh, a lot of rules that are, are, are made, a lot of compliance, as it's modern to say, and that are limiting the capacity we have uh, uh, to get resources and the necessary resources to to organize such such event. But whatever, we have uh, an extremely rich uh, uh, partner, partnership with the industry and we have all the main industry will be present with their latest uh, uh, development and uh, they are here to help us and uh, uh, they are going to, to present you through different uh, uh, manifestation, symposium, or hands-on uh, training session, uh, you will be, you will have access to all uh, all the new instrument or energy they will provide to you. Uh, this event, uh, you know, is part of uh, of the activity of the new uh, uh, local school of uh, minimal access surgery in uh, in Dubai. Uh, I speak about. Uh, the so-called MIS Academy. Well, MIS Academy is a school that uh, uh, I I got the wish to start this uh, this last year, being in Dubai since few few years now. I think that uh, laparoscopy and all minimal access surgery is very important, and I know by experience that uh, the result is very beneficial not only for the patient but for the society but under certain conditions and those conditions are that these uh, these techniques should be done properly and uh, as far as I know we are in 2017 and uh, laparoscopic and laparoscopic surgery is not that recent because we can we can place uh, it bursts uh, around uh, 73 with a major revolution in 88 with the first hysterectomy and today uh, there is not in my knowledge any official training program for minimal access surgery in the world and so it ended up that uh, besides some experts you know most of the people got an average uh, training on, on laparoscopy as the result 
that most of the time the treatment is either incomplete, the rate of, uh, of conversion to laparotomy is still high, the completeness of the eradication of diseases like endometriosis is very, very uh, average, and so we expose our patient to iterative surgery, which is not good. In the other hand, we deal also a lot of, uh, of uh, small pathology, like ovarian cyst, in young patients, in which we should absolutely preserve the fertility, and we have evidence that touching the ovary uh, is not very good. So, I mean, all those aspects merit that we train people. So, MIS Academy uh, is a place where uh, we have decided to run as much as we, we can practical courses, training courses, lot of ensembles on different aspects of, uh, of uh, endoscopy for the moment, limited to, to gynecology, but uh, probably we will, we will try to broaden uh, to broaden to, to other specialty. And, uh, and so this academy also organized this uh, event and tried to organize the events. That's why the MIS Academy organized and do that. So for all, the, all these reasons, I think it's very important. This is a major event now in the region. It will be repeated, but it's, a, it's very important. It should be an annual rendezvous of uh, minimal access uh, surgery for learning and taking very practical points to bring back home and to improve our practice. Hmm? Yes. Yes, so I want to, to thank you at least to have listened to me and I hope that uh, I hope that one you I convince you about the importance of uh, this kind of event and I, I hope I convince you to to come and to, to be in Dubai the 1, the 2, and the 3, and the 3rd of February. And as I say, and it's not a joke for our friend from Europe, I know that this is the ski season, but I promise you, you can still ski in Dubai, because we have Ski Dubai. And so uh, I wait on you, and I will be happy to, to go and to do some slope with you if, uh, ski, if you change your ski resort from... Uh, the French Alp or the Italian Dolomites to Dubai and I promise you we are going to get also fun here.